I found out that brought a job at a the letterpress printing shop in 1977 when I was 22. No experience required. So slowly, one by one, all the people who were in the print shop died and the print shop was closed. I did get some few pieces of printing equipment from the print shop and did a little bit of printing on my own. And then I came to the museum and during a harvest festival and there was a gentleman named Charlie Rhodes, I believe his name was, who had the print shop operational here at the museum. And then a number of years after that, I found out that nobody was running the print shop and uh, the director of the print shop let me operate it. We got new ink rollers and um, been operating it a few times a year ever since. Putting all on the print press and so it could operate just like any other piece of mechanical equipment that needs lubrication in order to operate safely and properly. And uh, I smeared some ink on the round ink disc that rotates all the time and you put clip the rollers into the press and the rollers roll across the rotating ink disc therefore the ink gets distributed on the ink rollers and I set the engraving and the uh, metal frame which is called a chasem put the wood blocks around. The wood blocks are called furniture. You lock the furniture and the engraving in place with the blocks which are called coins, Q-U-O-I-N-S, and you clip the chase with the engraving in the press and the ink rollers roll across it and you feed the paper in the press one sheet at a time with that particular printing press anyway. I found a cute one that was kind of cute that I ran on the press today with some paper that I cut for it. You try not to get your fingers smashed while you're doing that.